Spence Snake here with another works in progress. Uh, it has been requested by some of you guys to see where my figures are at. So I thought I'd give you a very quick little video and show you what I got. Uh, these are the ones I was working on in my previous video. Uh, with one exception, this guy over here. And yeah, just thought I'd give you guys a quick update. As uh, there's been quite a lot of changes. As I've said in my previous video, I've had a hell of a lot going on in my life lately, and I've pretty much stopped everything uh, figure related, uh, apart from buying a few here and there. Um, but my customization, I got all this done, and then I kind of came to a grinding halt. Uh, so these guys have been at this stage for quite a while, and I'm going to try and do more with them soon, as things are better, and I'm trying to just get cracking on with these things. So, without further ado, here they are guys, these are the ones that like I said I was working on before. So, let's start with the one that everyone's talking about, is the Ultimate Spider-Man. Now this was supposed to be a cheaper one compa uh, compared to my other one, which um, everyone has been asking for, but unfortunately the figures that are used in that figure are, are just really hard to get hold of these days, and they're quite expensive as well. Now I have some parts to make uh, a couple, and I would be willing to make some um, let me just grab him. This is the one I'm on about. Now I have the parts to make a couple of these, um, and I could do it, but in order to do it I need to make it cost effective. So, although I can make them, uh, and I can make them better than this guy now because my skill level has actually increased, not to blow my own trumpet, um, but like I said, this is one that was in the in the making for quite some time so if you guys do want one of these I can do it it will not be free as someone has asked um, I will have to charge and we can talk about that but if you contact me on my Facebook which is um, same name O Splinter Snake O but there's a space so it's O Splinter space Snake O um, I'll leave a link in the description below and if you want me to make one of these for you we can talk about it but I'm not going to discuss prices in my video or in comments so if you want to talk about it then please message me on there. So that's for this guy. Now this was the cheaper version which I've been working on and I know it looks a bit weird right now but I've done basically some few trial runs. Um, what I said in this one before is I sanded down his waist to make him slimmer because um, the Ultimate Spider-Man has quite a skinny waist. I sanded down all of the blue uh, details that's on there and we found out that his arms are actually red which I think is weird. don't quite know why they've done that but whatever. And then I said I was going to try and enlarge his hands, his feet, and his head. Now this is my attempt, and I know it looks weird to have just half, but I wanted to keep the lines. So I've done half, and then I've sketched the lines in, uh, and then I can now do the other half, and I can continue the lines over. So that's why I've done it like that. I've not given him much, but I've given him enough to make it look a bit more comic accurate and a bit more rounder. His feet were the first thing I did, and they were quite easy to do actually. Just added a bit on around the toes. The actual foot shape's not too bad. So that's what I did there. And again, just kept the lines going around. Um, I want to redo one of them, this one. I did this one a lot better, so I'm going to redo this one and make it look a lot neater. And hand, I tried doing just one finger because the fingers were I was worried about because fingers are, you know, they're. they're never tried anything like this before so I've just put a bit of putty around tried to shape in a finger and I don't like it so I'm going to take it off and I'm going to redo it but I did increase the width of his actual um, palm so that's what I've done there and like I said in the head uh, I've sculpted the eye it's gone all blurry I've sculpted the eye and then I've gone the lines around um, I could do this a bit neater um, like I said I am just trying out new things here so again I will be probably redoing a lot of this um, to make it a lot more neater but for, for now I'm quite happy with how he looks and I think once I do the head I, j I just don't know if I can do the hands that's the one thing that's annoying me I might have to leave the fingers and just kind of increase the bulk of the actual palms because I just don't think I can replicate the, the, the detail in the fingers but I will try I'll give it my all but yeah that's Ultimate Spidey and really looking forward to how this guy's turned out I think he's going to replace my collection from this guy because I like I like the articulation this one and I like the figure as a base so we should see keep posted for that one okay so you can go out of the way as well so next up we have is the carnage this one that everyone's been talking about 
and uh, yeah what can I say about this guy the detail has come out really well and as you can see that this stuff is different color is because I said in my previous video that I ran out of my epoxy sculpt so sad day so I've been using millipart and this is my millipart it is the yellow and grey one and when mixed together you get this kind of weird kind of creamy colour. It's pretty good. It, I don't think it's as good as the epoxy sculpt but it does do the job really well and I am very happy with the end result. So it's going to be now my go to guy. And this cost me £3 on eBay and as you can see you get quite a lot in there for three quid. In fact I did all the yellow you are seeing here with about that much. I've still got like about half left so really great value for money, great stuff and it does the job a treat. So that's many part. Now, uh, one thing I will say is find some, don't take off massive amounts. It's take off bit by bit. You can always, it takes longer, yes, to wait for it to cure a little bit and then to come back and do some and come back and do some. But the problem I've had is, you see this part here, is it cured a bit too much. And then when I tried to apply it, it didn't want to stick as well and I couldn't mold it as well as it was too thick and it lost a lot of its stickiness. So I'm gonna probably have to redo this part. But so find somewhere dry to put it off and you can always take more as you need it so just work with it as you see fit but this guy is looking really really work good and i cannot wait to get this guy finished as you can see he only needs one thigh and a knee and he's done and ready for painting i've also dremeled in the lines into his shoulders as i said to you i wouldn't be able to pox over them because the joint's just too tight and it would just rub and chip straight off. I feel that the paint job itself is going to come off, so I'm going to have to probably sand down the inside of there before I attempt it. We shall see. So that is Carnage. He is good to go. Moving on. Okay, the next one that everyone is speaking at is this bad boy, Venom. As you can see, he looks a lot different from the last time we saw him. Last time we saw him, he had uh, blank his head, no thigh hair, no shoulders, and these two little tendrils. As you can see, he's had quite a hell of a makeover, including a completely made head. I made this head from scratch. Inside there is Blanca's head, and I literally just started sculpting on top of it. I wasn't sure at first. I'm still a bit undecided. He looks a bit beaky for my liking, but I wanted to get that big kind of eggy shape that I've done. Um, and I got the teeth in there and the tongue I made using uh, I stretched out a bit of epoxy and then I wrapped it over some brushes and it came out really really nice I'm loving that and as you can see I've had some more tendrils on his arms a few more on his backs, back and I've increased his shoulders his shoulders just they weren't there for me uh, when I made the head the shoulders just looked too skinny so I made them bigger and I think they look a lot better and then of course as I said I wanted to bulk out his thighs and I've given him this nice definite defined muscle sculpture on his thighs I've had some complaints that they look a bit um, I don't know, a bit big. I don't mind them. I think they look good. I think they make look a bit too big. But, you know, he's such a bulky character with these massive things. And the ultimate one is just, like, all muscle. So I'm really, really happy with that. Now, the head was a lot of work. It's taken a lot of sand in, uh, several layers. But I've got the eyes in there. And you can even see there's some teeth in there. They were fun to make. Um, I literally just made up a load of uh, epoxy. And then I kind of rolled them out and then cut them into small bits and they're all different lengths because you know his teeth are quite jagged and then I glued them on and then I put epoxy over for the gums so they look jagged and I look, I'm really happy of how the teeth come out like I said it's just the general shape of the head I'm not 100% about but I've got a spare head I've still got this head which was the original goblin head so I can use this if I want to try again plus I think I've got another open mouth blank head somewhere <coughs> Excuse me, um, but he's still got the articulation, so it can go down that much, and it can go up that much. And a bit loose. There you can see the blanket head in there. But, but overall, I'm quite happy with how this has come out. And uh, yeah, Ooh, tight. Still got the upper fire rotation. Still got all the same articulation. These ones come out really well, and it was accidental. You see how they kind of just miss each other. That was completely accidental, but it works somehow. So this guy is looking good. I think I might add a few more like random teeth sticking out because the Ultimate one does have some teeth on his actual torso. Uh, but then this guy is good to go. So really looking forward to finishing him. Okay, sticking to the Ultimates. Here we have is my Ultimate Goblin. Now you may notice a couple of things different with this guy. Okay, so in my last video, he looked quite considerably a bit different. 
Uh, he had lots of epoxy just like splattered on him. That stuff just did not give the look I was going for so I removed it all and I tried a different tactic. This time what I've done is I've literally just taken my super glue here and I've literally just gone blip 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 tiny 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 amounts give it just a little bit of blobs here and there and I've done that all over his torso and all over his legs and I think it gives him much better and it gives him that kind of look it's not the same but I'm happy with it and I think it does look pretty good uh, so the, t the skin has a nice texture I think if you really wanted to go to that you can get like a pin head and maybe apply it which would give you a much more um, accurate to the arms but honestly I didn't care that much to go to that level of detail okay so the other thing that's different focus focus is the head um, so here's one that I made, made earlier <laughs> uh, the head as you can see the, the previous one has like the big old jagged beard and his massive horn sticking out to the side like that did not like this head I don't know why it just did not seem right to me this is how he looked kind of early on and as you can see I've literally taken the beard off sanded it down and I've taken horns and I've applied them going up opposed to out and I really like how that looks and I'm much happier of how this head looks now so that's what I've done there so you can see the difference and then of course I've uh, swapped out the hips finished uh, giving him a bit of pockets on the back here mm, need to sand that down a bit more make it a bit tidier and uh, I've given him some knee spikes as well just felt he needed knee spikes had to be done really so yeah but like I said all I did with that if you want to copy this is just drip 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 because the epoxy just it wasn't working and it was a bit it just didn't have that right kind of like feel to it so that's why that looks so blur so and I think it, I, I like it I'm really happy with how how it looks it's come over really well and if you're lucky and you're careful you wouldn't even need to paint it because it could because super will dry like clear it will look green from most angles they have some massive blobs so I still need to kind of repaint this anyway because I've done all this other stuff but for you guys who just want a quick and easy because to me that just stands out way too much so I know you guys are probably going to complain I've ruined it but I'm not that bothered I actually have a spare torso uh, anyway because I picked up a second one of these bad girls which I'll be reviewing later so I have uh, an extra torso so moving on okay sticking again to the ultimate we have this guy he wasn't in my previous video but I managed to get this done when I had some uh, sculpt left over and as you can see he is very simply just uh, gonna be the ultimate Deadpool um, really really easy custom to do you can see if you just increase his cuff lengths because they're quite big in the ultimates and I've added these upper cuffs here filled in the gap on the back and then this is a head sculpt which I got from my buddy Sam Nason I gave you a link in my previous video I'll give you another one he's got plenty of head sculpts for you customers out there including the Cassidy one where he's taken uh, this creeper head molded it and done these now I got this for free because I uh, lent him, I gave him well I lent him mine to actually mold so as you can see they're spot on he's really tight his job and he uses lovely resin and it's really easy to to do he will um, make it fit any mold that you require so he'll dremel it and paint it for you if you so desire but yeah this is the one that he asked me for and he's used his head as a clear cassidy for the carnage body and it does look really good I will give you a link like I said in this post I've also got this one which is the uh, John Stewart from the Greenland DCUC and this head is for a upcoming custom take your guesses anyone hmm I will leave you guys pondering but yeah five pound a pop for like this and if you want to paint it I think they're seven or eight pound I can't remember but totally worth the money this is the um, panther head minus the horns he took the horns off for me and as you can see it looks bang on perfect for a fully masked head which is going to be in my uh, Deadpool so that's this guy can't wait to finish him and next up we have the Batman this guy has had quite a few bits changing last time I showed you he had virtually I just filled these up I had to take all of that stuff off because it just wasn't quite right uh, and then I added the spot 
bikes and then I rescaped sculpted them and I added the detail now the detail isn't as neat as I like I'm still working on getting these lines down it's new new to me but I got these tools which makes it a lot more easier um, just trying to get these lines perfect is quite a chore so I need to redo that I also need to redo this spike for some reason this one's sticking out a bit but that's his gloves and his bat um, bat came out pretty nice still tidied up a little bit and then I added uh, a bit of detail to his face sculpt I mm, like tidy, tightened the eyes uh, added the nose and then I brought in the, the cow line I need to bring in a bit more and added the ears so quite easy on that one uh, just gonna tidy up like I said the gloves I need to do the boots and the belt and he is ready for a pink job oh, plus the lines and soups I haven't touched yeah, up to light. I sanded down his uh, hands. I just need to. Well, I dremeled him down. I just need to sand him down, tidy him up, and he's ready for his lines. So, I haven't really done anything to him. And then finally, this is my commission job, Jill Valentine. I need to make a massive thank you for the customer. I'm not going to say his name. I don't think it's professional to say customers' names online. Um, but with everything that's been going on with me, he has been super patient, and uh, I really, really appreciate everything that you've 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 waited for so long for this figure I know you're dying to have her and you see she's come quite a long way now she's got full trousers now got a holster got a gun full shirt got her pads on I just need to do a few more lines to straps for her pads and yeah that's pretty much it she's ready to go so I will be getting her painted as soon as I'm sending her out to you again my apologies for taking so long with this one uh, with everything so I really really thank you and I appreciate all of your patience but for for you guys who don't know this is uh, Jill Valentine from the first Resident Evil game tried to emanate her first look and how she looked I asked the customer if he wanted me to keep the ab uh, detail he said no he wanted it shirted like she actually appeared so that's why I've covered that up got a strap around her waist and I've given her a belt uh, the straps they didn't clip onto the shoulder pads. Now the pads I've put further back at his request because it helps with her forward articulation. So that's why I've done it like that. This one's having a bit of trouble so I need to readjust this and maybe file it a bit more. Giving her some shirts, they're not even so I need to add a bit more on here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna add a strap line going from here to the top of the holster. Like I said to you, this is just the holster that came with um, the Marvel Select Mystique, Marvel Select, the Marvel Legends Mystique and it fits there quite nice and this gun was a random one in my bits and bobs but yeah this one is coming along really nicely and still retaining all the articulation and has this nice trouser look with the combat boots. I need to attempt laces and I've spoken to Anthony from Anthony's Customs and he said don't try it. Um, I need to try and figure something out because I want to do something. I've got an idea. I, we shall see. Failing out, I'm going to probably end up swapping these legs out for Cammy's actual boots as I've got them lying around. But you know, I want to attempt it because these ones have the ankle pivot and you know it's kind of redundant and pointless making these have the ankle pivot if you're just going to swap them out. We shall see. Uh, I kept the gloves as I said I was going to swap, swap them out because you know gloves you know are fabric and fabric is never neat so they are rough but I think it works good for the character I might tidy him up I will ask the customer what he wants and if he's happy with them but I really I didn't want to get this done and get this off to the customer as quick as possible as he has been like I said super super patient with me with everything like I said been going on so much appreciate and thank you for that anyway guys that's my works in progress as you guys have requested these are what I've uh, had going in uh, up to date we'll hopefully get these going a bit more and get these finished off and show you the complete ones but thanks a lot for all your support i really appreciate all your interests and comments uh, and thanks for following if you like this video please leave a like please subscribe and you know the routine guys i'll be catching my next one bye bye